so i would like imran to take over uh, the session and you know uh, give you guys a walk through of the wordpress data module yep thank you ajit all right uh, so now we're going to talk about the wordpress data uh, this is one of the areas which is least explored by a lot of developers only because you know it looks difficult uh, and it not actually is it's, it's pretty simple so what is actually a wordpress data module so wordpress data module basically serves as a hub to manage application state for both plugins and wordpress itself it actually provides tools to manage data within and between distinct modules and it is designed as a modular pattern for organizing and sharing data now it will be interesting for you to know that it is uh, implemented atop redux when we heard when we hear the word redux i'm sure a lot of you uh, might be facing some difficulty in understanding what redux is uh, and to be very honest when i actually started learning redux it was one of the most difficult uh, you know concepts to understand it's uh, than it actually is so before we jump into talking more about wordpress data module what we're going to do is we'll talk about redux as to what redux is okay so let me share my screen so the best uh, redux is basically a state management tool for javascript applications um, now to make it easier for you to understand let me go ahead and tell you a story okay everybody likes likes listening to stories so let's talk about a story so there is a guy uh, who owns a business and uh, initially he is quite unhappy is because uh, he needs to get his all of his products get delivered to different people and people may live at different places some of them live close by to where he is running the business from some of them uh, live uh, far as well okay so what he decides to do is rather than delivering it to each and every person he thought of opening a store so he op opens up the store now in order for me to explain the concept let's say initially inside of his store he has chocolates now he has someone called a cookie maker goes ahead and creates cookies and once the cookies are created a cookie maker will go ahead and give it to our distributor i know it does, he doesn't look very happy but it's fine i couldn't get a better picture <laughs> okay so so then the job of the distributor is to find out what type of food it is you know whether or snacks it is uh, is this a chocolate is it a cookie or is it something else okay so once he analyzes that he will check the type of the food he'll put that in a packet and he will go ahead and deliver it to the store so earlier when store only had chocolates now the store has cookies as well now there is also one more person who is responsible for this which is your uh, gatekeeper his job is to monitor what comes inside of the store and what goes out so he's constantly watching okay so if i had to put everything in this way this is how it looks like uh, so cookie maker gets an instruction and that go ahead and dispatch the cookies he makes the cookies give it to the distributor distributor goes and checks the type of the food puts in a packet and delivers to the store okay so now it will become very easy for that business owner because rather than delivering it to each person uh, people in the area can come directly to the store and whatever they like they can just pick it up from there so he became happy okay now what is it to do with the redux right well basically redux works on a, a similar concept okay so in redux also there is a store okay and you give instructions uh which will be dispatch cookie maker they will call it as action creator one of the key reasons why people find difficult to understand uh is because of their fancy names you know uh so that's why i thought of, thought of relating it to a kind of a daily life scenario so that it's easy for you to understand so so uh, cookie maker is basically your action creator in uh redux which create actions and distributor is the guy who is reducer so whatever he jobs he gets he checks the type of it and goes ahead and distributes it uh, the food you can consider payload in programming you already know what payload is basically the data and the distributor uh, is the guy who will check so distributor means reducer he will check the type of the data and then he'll go ahead and put that inside of a object kind of create a new state and send that back to the store okay 
So that's how Redux work. Now, why do we use Redux? Well, as we looked at the example of that story, it allows you to share the state between multiple components. If we weren't using Redux, we had to pass the state to multiple components in React. However, if we have a common store, uh, you know, any component can go ahead and grab the data for whatever they need. Uh, and it integrates nicely with React. Yeah, some of the min misconceptions people have is that you can only use uh, Redux with React. And that's why a lot of them go ahead and uh, say that React Redux, Redux uh, React Redux. Well, the thing is that you can use Redux with other libraries as well, like Vue. It integrates really nicely with React, but that doesn't mean it's limited to React. You can use it with other libraries as well. And it allows us to track the changing data. So when do we use it? Well, when we have a big complicated data for a complex application, Redux is really helpful. Any component can pull any piece of the data from the Redux store, so the data needs to be shared between multiple components. Okay, uh, it can run in different environments like client, server, native, and they are very easy to test because they work in isolation. Uh, it makes reusing the components because they no longer are dependent to get the props from their parents and can get all of the data values as props from a single Redux store. So some of you who have worked with uh, React before, you know that you had to pass the data to multiple children and it's very difficult sometimes to track the data. Redux makes it simple because you're only dealing with that just one thing. And uh, when you dispatch that action, you have one global store that takes care of the data. Okay, so we have a WordPress data module and uh, it's simple enough to satisfy the need of small plugins. Uh, it's scalable, it's built upon and shares many of the core principles of Redux. Uh, but it's only merely Redux, not only just Redux for WordPress, it includes a few of its own distinguished characteristics as well. Let's go ahead and first understand about the types of data store. So in WordPress, what we have available is there are some default stores and there are some custom stores that you can create yourself. Uh, before we jump on to the default stores, let's begin with uh, understanding how we can create a custom store. Then it will be even easier for you to understand the default store and how they function, okay? So let me share a piece of code with you. So let's take a look. So think about the same story that we spoke about. So initially, we set the value of the, the store, initial state of the store to chocolate. So currently, the store only has chocolate and a dairy milk. And then you have some actions. Uh, the job of the action to go ahead and set the value of the cookie. So whatever the value is passed inside of it, it goes ahead and set that as payload. We remember we discussed about the payload is the food. Inside of it, it takes different parameters. First, you have reducer function. The so reducer is basically your distributor as we saw. And it takes the value of the initial state and it also takes, a, but it takes an object called action. And uh, it checks the type of the action as to what type it is, whether it's cookie or it's something else. If it is cookie, then it goes ahead and takes the value of the previous state and goes and adds cookie value into it and just returns that new state, okay? Then you have some selectors. Their job is to basically get the data. Great, so these are the methods basically. Selectors would allow you to get the data from the store. For example, you can create a, your own method, get chocolate. The job of this is to basically get the chocolate out of, this, out of the state. Uh, this will get me the cookie, uh, only if the cookie has been set. And this will get me both the, both the information, It'll get me the cookie as well as the chocolate, okay? So you can see these are the selectors available. Then you put the next parameter as actions. Uh, so basically inside of this object, it takes your function, reducer, then you have selectors, and then you put the action. So action is something that we already created. And then eventually we have this method called register store inside of wp.data. So we know that in WordPress, we have an object called wp, which is available globally. So inside of that, we have data object and it has a method called register store. And inside of this, we can define 
whichever store name we want to give i can name anything uh, that i want i can even name it as food store over here it's up to me because it's my custom store and then i pass my my store object that i've just created here okay once that is done i can also have my gatekeeper this is my gatekeeper so it has another method called subscribe i can keep listening to the changes in the store so if there is a change in the store i go ahead and uh, you know get called the get cookie method which basically gets me the uh, value of the cookie from the state and then if there is a value go ahead and just make an announcement that you okay, we got a new cookie so think about that gatekeeper if he gets some cook, new cookies new food items he'll just say hey i've got new food item now inside of subscribe it's up to you what you want to do its job is to basically uh, listen and monitor the changes and at that point if you want to do something you can do that okay now let's go inside of the wordpress editor you don't really need to create any block for this okay all i have done is just basically taken this file and just imported it uh, i'm just enking this file okay so i have not created any block or anything but you can do this so let's take a look so if you go to wp.data let me make it bigger it's pretty small okay okay so wp data dot select so i'm supposed to select the store first okay so what is the name of my store so the name of my store is food so i put food over there so once i do that if i hit enter you can see there are different methods available some of the methods that are available are by default but some of them i have added so you can see we have added the get chocolate into selector so these are my selectors get chocolate you have get cookie that's available then get cookie and chocolate sorry chocolate and cookie so all of these methods are available so if i want to access some data all i have to do is just do wp.data dot select i select my store whatever the name of the store is in this case food and uh, let's say i want to get hold of my initial value of the store which is chocolate i want to get this value so all i have to do is just call the function which is get cookie and not cookie but chocolate because we haven't set the value of cookie yet and just it you can see we've got dairy milk over here right similarly i want to go ahead and uh, dispatch an action basically instruct uh, my uh, you know chef that go ahead and prepare something and send it to the reducer who is the distributor so what do i do i already have this method available called set cookie so in wordpress i have something available called dispatch so i'll say wp.data dot dispatch and i put the name of this store which is food and do i have something available here can you see there is a method called set cookie right so all i have to do is just call that set cookie and as you also notice that it takes a parameter which is the name of the cookie i've already put a default but what's your favorite cookie well my favorite cookie is hide and seek so i'll put that <laughs> okay all right hit enter it returns a promise and now if i want to check whether actually something happened you can see that this made an announcement got a new cookie why because i have my gatekeeper subscriber who is constantly listening to the change in the state of my store and because there is a change it checks whether it's got a value and it just makes an announcement got a new cookie okay so now start and then if i want to call these methods let's say i want to get the value of cookie just say top data dot select select the name of the store dot get cookie hit it you can see now we've got hide and seek right awesome similarly we have other methods as well we can use get chocolate and cookie remember that's what we have here and it's it's going to give me both these values so now you have dairy milk and hide and seek as well and that's what we put awesome so can you see how simple it is to create your own store and wordpress has provided all of these methods to us it's built a top redux it's using redux and this is how you can create your custom store